math is really easy. Two things that you have to pay attention to is these are the notes that are given to help the students out about the cap, um, directions for solving the SAT math paper. And here's the reference information or the legend as you can see. Uh, here um, the SAT test writer give you, gives you um, formulas on which you'll be applying these formulas or more in this set of SAT and I suggest you to memorize this uh, formula so you don't have to look back again. Now let's go ahead and attack uh, this SAT from um, May 2006. The first question asks us which of the following triples XYZ does not. So my first strategy is to circle does not so I don't lose concentration and select which does fit because there are five options of which four will fit and one wouldn't. I'm in, I'm in need to find the one that wouldn't. So let's go ahead and look at the options. So C would cancel because it would fit. 36 by 6 gives you 6. So this cancels. 9 to the 18 by 3. That cancels. So it has to be D or E. 12 by 2. This cancels. So from the process of elimination, I can say without solving that the answer choice C and uh, I mean D. So it's let's see, it's three times six, eighteen, eighteen over two should be nine, and it's not six. So it's not six, it's nine. So therefore, the answer choice is D. Now in this second, uh, you have to account the sum of measures in degree of angles of a triangle is one eighty. Now since sides are same, we can conclude that the angles would be the same as well. So for this 6, the opposite angle would be this, which is 60. And since the sum of the measure is 180, we can say that this remaining angle would be 60 plus 60. Whatever that is, which is 120, subtract that from 180, you would still get 60. So since these are number 2, I suggest those are really easy ones. So 6, 6, and here it would be 6 as well. The reason why here is 6 because the degrees are the same for each of the angles. And all we are asked is to find the perimeter of the triangle shown above. So I don't find area, so I circle that and find the perimeter. So it's 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 18. Answer choice A. Let's go through this debating team membership and it gives you a pie chart remembering the pie chart is always out of 100% we can find the x percent I didn't even read the question so let's just find the x since 30 plus 20 is 50 we can conclude that the x has to be 50 now let's go ahead and read the question based on the information in the graph about what is the percent of membership of debating team is made up of 11th and 12th graders so we need to find the percent, okay? So that would be 11th is 30 plus 50, which are the 10th, 12th graders. We are not accounting 10th graders. It clearly says 11th and 12th graders. So 30 plus 50 has to be 80, and therefore the answer choice is E. Now let's go ahead and move on to question number four. Points P, Q, R, and S line the same in that order. Q is midpoint of P, R. R, S is 3 and length of P, S is 13. What is the Q, R? Now let me go ahead and uh, draw a line to make this clear. Alright, so um, now that we have a line, here let me say because it lies in that order, I can say this is P, this is Q, this is R. This is S and uh, figure is not drawn to scale, of course. So please do account. And it says P S. This a length is thirteen, okay, and R S is three. So we can say this, since this and this is a midpoint, Q is a midpoint of P R, which says over here in this sentence. Uh, we can say that um, P to R is ten because you have. 3 subtracted from here and therefore since this and this has to be equal there are two parts 
to 10 so we can say either 2 div 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so PQ is 5 and QR is 5 and it says what is the length of QR well QR is 5 therefore the answer choice is A I'll select it and move on let's go to number 5 here and ask for um, it's a word and you have to convert it into an equation and you have to find the value of x so what is the value of x? well you have to convert this word into equations so let's go ahead and do that make account for is 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 always an indication to an equivalent sign so let's go ahead and attack this problem three times a number x so 3x is so equivalent trying 12 plus x 12 more than x so x plus 12 you can do 12 plus x or x plus 12 doesn't really matter as far as addition is concerned um, so subtract so x from both sides 2x is 12 and it's just simple uh, simplification that you have to do that 12 over 2 is 6 and therefore x equals 6 and since it's asking for what is the value of x not what is the value of 2x or 3x like it usually does on the other practice tests so let's go ahead and answer choice D I select that and I move on without spending one second more on it because time is very conserved uh, today Jacqueline um, usually uh, when I read the unfamiliar names I just cancel them and replace them with my friends names or a person's name like or like suppose like person A or person B uh, it's all dependent up to you how well you are with the names if they confuse you I recommend them you change them because to be honest with you in math the name really doesn't matter so let's go ahead and um, attack the question it's 45 cents in the piggy bank and person B has 93 cents in the piggy bank starting tomorrow person A will add 6 cents so person A will add 6 cents each day alright so I see and she will add 4 cents each day how many days will account first to be greater than the amount of mercy stay alright so how this is gonna work is um, simply these are just some huge um, bombastic words that you have to convert into uh, equation again this is supposed to be medium I suppose so let's go ahead and attack person A uh, has to be greater than person B on the first day is what I'm getting and person A starts with 45 cents and uh, he will add uh, many cents, 6 cents each day so I add 6x has to be greater than um, she starts with 93 cents and she adds 4 cents each day so we find that x has to be greater than let me go ahead and uh, do this on my calculator because I haven't done this 45 plus 6x is greater than 93 plus 4x x has to be greater than 24 so x has to be greater than 24 so we can conclude that on the 25th day uh, person A will have more cents or more money than the person B so therefore I can say uh, that the answer choice is D has to be 25 because it says first and you have to pay very you have to be very critical about the words that the SAT writers use to uh, formulate synthesize their question because and all this can change the meaning of it alright number seven um, X is 300 now the common mistakes that I uh, see while solving this problem is that since this is 300 this has to be 300 but look this is x this is y that's one indication and if you know a little bit about parallelograms you know that this can be true anyhow uh, since this is 300 this we can say is 60 and this two sides should add up to 180 therefore we can say this is 120 Oops, 120 and since this whole thing is 360 we can say 360 uh, minus 120 which gives you 240 and therefore the answer choice 
B is correct. And let's go on to this one, number 8. Now, number 8 is kind of a funny problem to me because since x is greater than 0, we can always use this technique rather than uh, substitution, which may work, but according to me, according to my ideology, it would take more time, consume more time, which you need to spend on the hard ones to get them right to boost up your score. Now, the trick over here is just put x, y, multiply by 5, multiply by 10. Because uh, the reason why we are square rooting, let me just give you a quick preview of it. Because x over here is added uh, multiplied twice, y is multiplied twice. As far as z is concerned, it also is multiplied twice. So um, everything here in this quantity is multiplied twice. And when we square root it, we get uh, the x, y, z single quantity multiplied by each other. So um, of course, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So square root of 100, we know is 10. And therefore, it's 10. Now, we are not dealing with any negative signs here as far as the option tells us. So I'll just go ahead and don't worry about it and circle B and move on. In problem number 9, it says, uh, so there's a problem with uh, number 9. So we will just skip it because it says uh, what fractions of uh, the figure is shaded and in this PDF, the SAT test writers don't show which area is shaded so we can't do the fraction. But uh, the, re the approach would be that you find this 2x, 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 2x because y is given to be 2x here. So the same goes with 2x, x, 2x, whoops, x, x. This is single quantity, so x, 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 x. Same goes here. Let me just write that down for you. And how, uh, the method to approach is that you add all of these quantities up, put them here, okay, all of it, and the area which is shaded, some that, some of that would be on the top, and once you simplify it, you should get your answer. And the reason we are not solving it is because it's not shaded. So let's go ahead and move on to number 10. When a certain odd number is divided by 5, the remainder is 1, okay, so it has to be an odd number, and the remainder should be 1. <clears throat> and what digit must be units digit? And if you don't know what units digit is, let's say 900. What is the unit digit? 0, of course. This is the units digit. This is the tens digit. This is the hundreds digit, if you have forgotten. So uh, that's an example. Now let's go ahead and move on to the question. Odd numbers divided by, okay, let's try 6, but 6 is not odd, so we can try one more, 5, 2 is at 10, add that 1, so it makes it 11, 11 is odd, the remainder is 1, of course, and 11 works out, and it says the unit digit, and it has to be 1, so I'll just tick, enter choice A, and move on. Now, in this question, this is where the algebra starts to kick in, and it's a medium problem, as far as the level of hardness is concerned, level of difficulty. Now it tells you f of x, g of x, and h of x, and it says, what happens to x value of x when it gets further from 10? Well, if it gets further, it's, um, because it's x squared, and this is simply x, we can see that, let's try one for the purpose of um, visualization. If you try, um, let's say 10 for instance this is 10 square because we're doing f of x minus g of x so x square so 10 square over here minus 10 so we get 100 minus 10 which is 90 and of course once you do 11 square minus 11 you'll get more than 90 so that's basically 121 minus 11 you can do that here that's 110 that is, of course, 110 is greater than 90. So we can say that h increases only. It does not decrease. So what we can do is just basically look through the options and see what makes the best, best sense because you want to try and uh, conclude your answer with the best looking option. So decreases, no. Stays the same. Doesn't stay the same. Decreases, no. 
increases at first but then decreases now if it did that we would have found out in this example but it doesn't so I'll just pick A and then move on alright so let's go ahead and go to number 12 uh, certain fitness uh, lasts for 3 hours 12 minute break each part is same and total 3 breaks total 3 hours so there has to be 3 breaks so 3 times 12 plus uh, X amount okay for each part of the test so then there are 3 breaks there has to be like 3 tests or something and it lasts for 3 hours and we have to convert that into minutes so 3 times 60 which is 180 uh, 3 times 36 plus X is 180 and then X equals 180 or minus 36 so we can say that 36 180 minus 36 that's 144 after doing that we get X is 144 but of course that's not the answer because there are a total of three breaks so it has to be the four so four consecutive sessions since there are four consecutive session, sessions the answer choice I think would be C, uh, B 36 and the reason is because uh, most people would choose to, for instance 144 divided by 3 would give you 48 most people would choose 48 but the reason why it does not work is because for instance if you have X okay let's start with um, a session then you have a 12 minute break then again a session then you have a 12 minute break again and then a session but and then you have to have 12 minute break again but wait why would you have a 12 minute break at the end when the classes are over that does not make sense that means the class is going to start again so X is the class time again and then you are free to go and the reason why we include three twelves is because it says in the questions three total breaks so we add one two and three so therefore the answer choice would be B uh, but let's go ahead and move on which of the following is one possible value of X that proves the statement above false so we have to make this false and use this uh, digits this is below uh, between 2000 and 2016 and sum is even if the sum is even then X must be even so we have to prove something like uh, the sum is even but it's odd so this is even this is even okay so this are B C and E are only the ones that are odd so let's go ahead and check them out 2 plus 9 that's 11 11 is not even this is even 3 let's try E um, because I can totally see C should be the answer because the sum is 3 but it's even hmm. sum is 3 but it's even because, okay, let's see. 20 tall. 3, 4, 5. 5. The sum is 5. Sum is not even. Hmm. Maybe they will work. Let's try. 2, 2. It's, the sum is even. But it's not even. It's odd. So, my bad. Answer choice D. Okay. Now we are given three tangential circles you can see C has the large radius this radius of the smallest circle is phi so we can say this to this is phi so diameter for this would be 10 now since the diameter of P is 10 this circle let's say X the radius for that would be 10 the diameter for that would be 10 and the radius for circle B would be 20 so we are finding the circumference of large circle and the uh, radius for a large circle is 20 the circumference equals 2 pi r 2 times pi times 20 
since these are given in pi, so let's just do 2 times 20 is 40 pi. Oh, answer choice D. PRD number be defined as. Let's just go ahead and skip that for a moment. I want to. K and for every value of x, what are possible values of k? Now, once you put any digit here, it should be equivalent. So it's either 1, it can be negative 1 because here it's squared, but if you have that, so it can be negative 1. Oops. So it can just be 0, it can be. Okay, so it's answer choice C. And this can, this little things can be made up. And here, this this is uh, I don't know the level of difficulty, but it should be medium or hard, medium or hard, either one of them. Tickets cost two for child, four for adult. Total tickets, so child plus adults ticket is two hundred tickets sold. And if you have two C, two dollar per child, plus four dollar per adult. Then how many how many many did you make? You made seven hundred dollars. And what we are asked to find is uh, the ratio of number to kids. So you have to find the value of C and A. And I'm already ahead one step of this problem. So I know C has to be fifty, and adults has to be one fifty. Since we are finding the ratio of children to Adults, we can just divide right here, cancel zeros, five ones are five threes are. So our ratio is one to three. One is to three or one to three. So one, two, not two. Okay, so I just won. Number 18. This definitely has to be a hard one. But what is the, let's see. Average mean of three numbers is x. So let's just. And one of them is y, okay, so we can just make, uh, give me a number, or a letter. Let's say a plus b plus y, because one of them is y, is x, right, x, you divide the average. So we can say a plus b plus, oh, a plus b plus y is 3x, multiply cross multiplication, then you have to find the average of the numbers x and y. So leave a and b apart. 3x minus y. And that's the sum. But you have to divide to find the average of this. So 3x minus y over 2 should be the average of a plus b. And the answer choice that fits. 3x minus y is the answer choice. So let's go ahead and move on to 20. A container shaped rectangle base side as completely filled with the water all the water is poured outside on the second one with large inside base right okay minimum height okay so all you have to do is like formulate an equation know the the area of the right circle or cylinder which is pi r square h and Use the formula for equals pi r square h, and this is container one, this is container two, and essentially we're just pouring water and finding the minimum height for the second one, so it fits exactly. And therefore, let's go ahead and substitute the values for the first one. Radius is four squared that, and the height is nine. For the second one, the radius is nine and Height is what we are find, trying to find. So this essentially becomes 16 times 9 pi. Um, and then just make it equal to h. Divide by 9 squared, which is 81. So let's just write 81 pi. Sorry for the bad handwriting. 9 goes into 1. This goes to 9. 16 over 9. And that should be the minimum height. Pretty easy, huh? Okay. Just okay, number 20 has to be hard because if it's not, then I don't know what's going on with the SAT. Okay, so let's see if it challenges me. X, Y plane, F is a line. These are the coordinates given two points, so it's essentially trying to 
telling you that hey find the slope and solve for y when x is 7 so let's just find the slope slope comes out to be 1 minus 2 over 12 no no 1 minus 7 sorry 1 minus 7 12 minus 2 so that's minus 6 over 10 that's 3 fifths so 1 is equal to minus 3 fifths 12 plus the y-intercept is what we have to find doing that gives me m equals minus hmm no it's plus why, why should it be minus why should it be minus so it's plus 41 over 5 <coughs> okay sorry for that Mm, let's see if I did my calculator correctly. 36 over 5. And then multiply. Okay, 41. Yes, that's correct. And uh, now you, all you have to do is 7, comma, x. And we need to find 7 is the value of x. y equals minus 3 fifths, seventh plus 41 over 5. Which just should give me 21. Minus 21 over 5. That should be 20 over 5. That's 4. So I answer choice D. Because it has sweet, it has the same denominator. So I can just do like normal, regular um, addition. And I don't have to go through the least common denominator. And then I have 5 at the bottom. And I just simplified it and the answer choice is D. Now as you saw me doing the practice test, um, I feel really confident. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and check. And uh, there are two problems I believe I didn't solve. One was this one because there is no um, shaded region given and there was one more this one, problem number 15. Uh, I believe to be I believe there is like a little confusion going on between that problem so let me just go ahead and close this without doing this and you can consider this one a one skip if this comes out to be correct but according to my sources there is a little problem in the wording I don't know how there shouldn't be but the website says there is the website where I downloaded this so I'm just gonna going to skip that so consider one skip maybe for this section so I hope I get 19 correct out of well this doesn't count so I'm just gonna make that correct so let me just go ahead and check without further talking so I just graded the test and I believe so total in total we uh, we basically attempted 18 problems out of 20 because of two confusion and out of 18 I got one incorrect and I'll show you right now so that's 17 out of 18 right now and uh, so let's see where I missed one because even in the real exam I missed one so here it is um, let me just zoom in okay the question was this one now if x y is equal to y z is phi and then x y z is what mm, I see uh, once I find out the, the solution for this one, so let's go ahead x, y, 2, and x, z is 10. In conclusion, the answer is a should be a. Square root of 100 is 10. 
Or are we dividing by x2? If we're getting 5. Hmm. Well, that's the end of it, and I haven't touched this paper, so therefore I look mm, in front of you. I made one mistake, and uh, I will post up the solution as soon as I find that out on the comment section below.